today we're going to take a look at how to animate your logo using motion now why do i like apple motion i like it because it's very easy to publish the template and use it as a generator that way whenever you make a video you can just drop it in and you already have your all your graphics ready to go so it's very simple um what you saw at the beginning of this video that was actually a an animation i created using motion and i'm going to show you exactly how i made that so let's jump over to the computer so this is the first screen you get when you open up motion i select motion project i want to make the preset 1080p because that's usually what i export at and then i select 23.98 i don't know if that makes a, a difference but that's what i use uh, the duration is two seconds you want to make this as short as possible because you don't want to have a long intro click open and if we select our project, we want to change some of these settings. Let's go to the properties, the background color. You can change it to whatever you like. I already have some presets here. This is a blue I use a lot. And then the background is set to transparent. I make it solid because I want this to appear um, in the final video. Okay, so if we go over to our group, we're going to bring in our logo. This is what I have here on the desktop. I'm just going to bring it in here and I'm going to select the drop down and select fit. Let me maximize this and I'm gonna resize this, hold down the shift key to keep the same proportions. Here we go, let me move this to the center. That's the center. Actually, I want it to be a little bit further up. There we go. So I'm gonna name this group logo. Next, I'm gonna bring in some text, but I wanna create it under a new group. And let's select this text right here and make sure you got the correct font, the size. You can always change it later. Let's just, uh, I'm going to type in here my, it's not actually my logo. It's just a tagline I use. Okay. Let's move this and I want it to sit somewhere in the middle. Okay. That's dead center right there. And then the camera, I'm going to move it over to the left. So at the end of the animation, it's gonna look something like this. Actually, I wanna move the whole thing a little bit to the right because there's more space over here. So if we select all of these and we move it over to the right just a little bit, I think that looks good. So first, let's start by animating the camera. Uh, and to do that, actually, let's move the logo camera to the top of the text like that and select our camera. And let's move the playhead over to the right to about the, I don't know what this is, the 10th second mark of the 10th frame. I'm not sure. I think that's a good spot right there. And I'm going to create keyframes. So if we go to properties, I'm going to add a keyframe to the position because that, this is where I want it to end up. Let's do the same for the text, select it and select the keyframe for the position. And there we go. I created keyframes for both the logo and the text. Now let's move the playhead over to the left and I'm going to select my camera actually. Again, add another keyframe for the position and we're going to move the X axis to the right. And I want it to start somewhere in the middle, which is somewhere around there. So if we play this now, you see the only thing that's being animated is the camera, but I want the tagline to appear and to actually move at the same time. So it's gonna look like it's gonna appear behind the text. So let me show you how to do that. Um, now we wanna select our text and we're gonna add a mask. So actually we need to select the group itself and select this rectangle mask. We're, we're gonna draw it from here all the way to the camera itself. I can always zoom in here. That looks good. Let's go back to uh, fit and we're going to invert the mask that way it, anything that's inside the mask is invisible you can't see it only what's outside the mask so uh the mask is going to start right there so i'm actually going to add a keyframe to the mask itself and then as it moves to the right or the the logo moves to the left i also want the mask to move with it so i'm going to create another keyframe to the position of the mask and I'm, I'm going to move it to the left so it moves along with the camera. Okay, let's play this. 
So you see the mask moves with the camera. The next thing to do is to actually move the text to the left so it hi hides behind the mask and then I want it to move to the right as the camera is moving to the left. So let's create a position. Let's select the text itself. We're gonna create a keyframe here on the position and move the, the text to the left. Okay, let's play this. You can see there that the camera is, is here in frame, it starts in the center. And then as it moves to the left, the text starts appearing behind the camera. That's because we have a mask that's hiding the text. So that's how you animate the logo. Um, take a look at the keyframes. You can always move them to the left if you want to speed it up or to the right to slow it down. And, and there's a bunch of different things you can do, but this is the very basics to get you started with animating your own logo. One last thing, don't forget to publish your logo animation file, publish template. And I want to publish this as a final cut generator. I want to have it there every time I go in and I'm working on projects. So I already have a folder called my motion and I'm just going to put it under that category. So publish. Now let's go over to final cut pro X. Okay. Let's open up the generators, go to my folder called my motion. And here's a logo animation. Hold on. It's loading. There it is. I can always tweak it if I want to. I go right click on the logo animation and I can reopen it in motion and make my changes. So, you know, that's something good to know. So that's the basic idea behind animating your logo. Please let me know if I was unclear about anything. Drop down your questions in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos like this every week and you don't want to miss them. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.